We all need help and family is there to help. Yes, families can be difficult. According to my two daughters, I can be difficult. But families are there when you need help and when we need help. There's four families joining. It's the Coxes, the Dalgleishes, the Southerns and the O'Sullivans. But there's many other families linked there too. Not only are families joining together, but weddings show us that there's generations stretching. And that stretches from the oldest, which is uh, Grandma Vivian and Grandma Pamela, two indomitable heads of the family. They are legends and great role models. They are the heads of our family. But we also have the youngest, and that's four generations. And that's young Ellie Hobbs, our beautiful flower girl. And she's done a wonderful job. And always remember that you're married to a very beautiful bride. I've told you about Ellie, I've told you a little bit about Ant, and I've talked about family. I've nearly finished, and then we have the final toast. Just one piece of advice to you, very simple. Each of you have one job. Ellie, your job is to look after Ant. Ant, your job is to look after Ellie. Otherwise you have me to answer for. It's a tough job because it's a long-term job, but you've made a great start and I'm sure you'll have a very happy marriage. A final message from all of your VIP guests today. They want you, Ellie and Anne, to have a wonderful life together. I now want you to stand and toast Ellie and Ant. And the toast is health and happiness, Ellie and Anne.
learned my lesson that I never be loved by someone like you. You've changed up my direction, but sometimes I still question how I was worth the love of someone like you. Of someone like you. You close. I would give my life for you, you know. And I swear to never let you go. Not even for a moment. Aunt and Ellie wish to marry, for in each other's company they have found fulfillment and love. As a consequence of this love, they've drawn closer and now wish to offer to each other the security that comes from legally binding vows sincerely made and faithfully kept. And we are all here to witness this occasion and to share the joy which is theirs. The purpose of marriage is that you may always love, care and support each other through all the joys and sorrows of life and that love may be fulfilled in a relationship of permanent and continuing commitment. And we all trust that these things will come true for you both. You have both made the declarations prescribed by law and you made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your family and friends here today. And having symbolized your marriage by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, it is now my privilege and my pleasure to declare that you are now husband and wife. <laughs>
I want to thank you all for coming. This room is literally full of our favourite people in the whole world, and we're so grateful to you all to have made the effort to come and share this day with us. So this is a cheers to you all. Cheers. Thank you. It's not over yet. So. So as a lot of you know, Ellie and I went to the same school together. In fact, Fleur went to the same school as well. We didn't, you know, we didn't know each other at school, and it's amazing to think that after seeing that beautiful girl walking down the corridors of Cheadle Hume School, that one day I'd be here getting married to her sister. <laughs> opposite to each other. Ellie likes smooth orange juice and I like mine with bits. <laughs> Ellie, Ellie likes her peanut butter smooth and I like crunchy. I drink whole milk and Ellie drinks semi-sims. You know, the list goes on. <laughs> but, but a marriage is about compromise and that's why we drink smooth orange juice, semi-skim milk <laughs> and eat smooth peanut butter. But there are a lot of things that Ellie and I do have in common. Uh, we both love eating and going out for meals. In fact, there's a lovely little restaurant in Bramall called Seven Grasmere Crescent. We go, we go to fairly regularly. The food is always good, service is terrible. <laughs> and we mostly have to serve ourselves at the bar, but we eat there often as they never bring the bill. So they say you don't marry the person you think you can live with. You marry the person you can't live without. I mean, that's a load of shy. <laughs> but you are the most amazing person I know. When it comes to the soppy bits, I'm, I'm no good with words. I mean, the jokes I can do, no problem. <laughs> but, but I found this poem that really sums up why you are the most important part of my life. Don't worry, it's only short. It, it's called My Antidote, and it goes something like this. I do not love you just for the sake of loving, but because you have given me tranquility on days when I've given up on myself. So before I make a final toast, I hope that you've all really enjoyed my speech and thought that it's been really, really, <laughs> really <laughs> average. <laughs> Searching for it
should make it work 